measurement of viscosity. Definition Viscosity is the resistance a material offers to its own flow. It affects the speed at which a fluid flows. A viscous liquid flows with difficulty. A less viscous liquid flows with considerable ease. This property can be described as an additional frictional property a liquid offers to its own flow. When one layer of a liquid slides over another layer, we can compare viscosity of different liquids using a viscometer. But we can use falling ball test method to measure viscosity of any given liquid. Now how viscosity can be measured? There is a law known as Stokes law which says when a spherical object moves or falls through a viscous liquid then there is a liquid uh, viscous drag force which affects the liquid's flow. This force is given by F that is force of dragging equals to 6 pi r theta mu where r is the radius of the sphere meta is the viscosity of the liquid truly named as coefficient of viscosity and mu is velocity of the sphere the sphere which we will be discussing later on the falling ball method of measurement of viscosity involves a small spherical ball having considerable weight. This ball is allowed to fall through a column of liquid. The viscosity can be measured by the weight the liquid or the ball offers and the viscous drag in the thrust which the liquid offers to the falling ball. Now this is equated by the equation weight of the downward falling ball equals to viscous drag plus upthrust. Since the upthrust on the sphere is equal to weight of the fluid displaced according to Archimedes principle, so we can say that the product mass into gravity is equals to 6 pi r meta mu plus mass of the liquid and the force in practice we would say mass equals to density into volume now this falling ball method is a bit typical and requires expertise but for conventional or comparing viscosity of various liquids we have some simple methods which in which we use viscometers there are several kinds of viscometers. The most prominent ones are Brookfield's viscometer and Oswald's viscometer. The Oswald's viscometer is the most common viscometer available in which we compare some reference liquid uh, with our test sample and we try to uh, relate the viscosities by a standard formula and since the liquid under consideration is having known viscosity we can easily calculate the viscosity of the unknown but we should take into consideration that such kind of values only give relative viscosity that is viscosity of one liquid when compared to another and the result depends on how accurate is the viscosity known to us of the reference liquid. But when compared to these results, the falling ball method stands a better chance and is more accurate because it gives us value of absolute viscosity. Thus, as a recall, I would like to now state that 
viscosity is relative measured by viscometers while the absolute viscosity can be measured using Stokes method, calling bulk method. Applications of this viscosity concept, there are a lot of applications of viscosity concept in pharmacy, but to highlight a few in this video lecture, I would like to mention quality control of drugs and pharmaceuticals, better patient acceptance of liquid oil formulations, calculation of load on machines and pumps in operation while we are preparing a syrup or liquid formulations. And this is upon you how much you can relate this property of viscosity with the day to day operations which are going on in a pharmaceutical plant. When you come back to the class, you must come prepared with at least two more applications of the concept of viscosity in pharmaceutical context. Thank you.